Across Maine and New Hampshire, high school students and their teachers are taking part in a citizen science study led by Mount Desert Island Biological Laboratory in Dartmouth College. They are searching for dangerous levels of arsenic in our groundwater. We had 85 well water samples that we took from different places around Waterville, so like different businesses, different houses of students, and we sent those to Dartmouth. And out of all of the samples we sent, we got 15 samples back that were above the EPA's limit of 10 parts per billion of arsenic. It turns out arsenic is really the most um, dangerous element to have in drinking water. It can have these really profound effects on uh, your health. It can cause cardiac problems. It can cause cancer over time. We're learning that it, um, it can affect uh, the developmental uh, neurobiology of children and can affect IQ. So what we're doing about that is that we're sending each of the houses with a zero water filter and that's supposed to help filter out the arsenic and then we're retesting those houses to see if anything's changed. So normally getting full house filters um, for the arsenic is very expensive and it can be up in the like thousands. We purchased this filter, it's called Zero Water. It's about $20 and it's very affordable for people. It um, filters out the arsenic in the water so it's safe for um, people to drink. This allows our students to participate in real science that matters. Um, it's not just a lab exercise. Um, the data is important for people. By adding a community component and getting students really excited to learn, I think will carry over into other aspects of what they're doing in school. I think it's a good thing that we're involving students in the arsenic project because it helps them learn a lot about what's going on. An earlier version of the study gave students valuable results, but they struggled to communicate the data. We definitely wanted the students to be grappling with the data and trying to interpret it for their communities, but uh, we realized at the end of that project we hadn't really provided enough training or tools for that to happen. This time we have a real focus on data literacy, like how can we help people grapple with numbers. It's not just textbooks and that stuff, it's taking it to labs and going out and finding research and we're contributing to the society and making people aware that like 25 percent of our water had like arsenic in it, well well water had arsenic in it. I hope that young people oh, yeah. feel empowered by this project, that they realize that one person can make a difference that they can, by getting involved and being serious about the work and following through and communicating what they're finding, that um, they are um, serving a good purpose in their community, that, um, that they are perhaps saving someone's life. I, I love being a part of the study. I think it's very helpful for the community. I think it's fun, you know, you're going out, you're doing something you're realizing that there might be a problem with their water that could be affecting people and you're helping them and figuring out ways to make it safe for them to drink.